hi guys welcome back to all things wholesome this is a channel where we discuss all things that teaches about money skills in this video i'm going to be discussing measures on how i minimize the potential risk that can damage my finances so as i've decided to be mindful of my uh, finances i've realized how important it is to do a damage control and eliminate all the factors that might negatively affect your finances so today i'm going to be sharing my personal financial risk assessment uh, please comment down below on whether you do have your personal financial assessment uh, and if not please continue to watch this video because a personal financial assessment will help you keep more of your money so number one, I'm going to be talking about my job since it is my main source of income. As an employee, I make sure that I take care of my job. Um, I do my job to the best of my ability. Um, I respect my job and everything that comes with it. So that is to respect my colleagues. I respect my boss. I do everything my boss tells me to do. Um, I just don't want to jeopardize my job and lose my main source of income. So number two, I'm going to be talking about tax regulations. As an employee, uh, everyone knows that we are liable to pay taxes. Uh, so I make sure that I familiarize myself with the new tax laws and regulations to minimize any risk of non-compliance and uh, avoid unnecessary tax penalties and also if I make a financial decision I have to know the tax implications of that decision. So number three I'm going to talk about managing debts. As an individual who sometimes uses debts to buy the things that I cannot afford um, I need to make sure that I do not take up more debt than I can handle uh, like taking huge loans with higher interests because that poses a threat uh, to my financial stability so that's why I ensure that every time I take up a loan I need to draft a plan on how to pay that debt uh, off and most of the time I try to buy things cash so number four I'm going to be talking about emergency fund if you've watched most of my videos, you would know by now that I'm a big saver uh, and the first and most important uh, saving one must have is an emergency fund. Uh, it should cover three to six months of your living expenses. Um, so what I do, I constantly check my emergency fund if it's enough um, and if I add uh, expenses, I need to make sure that I add on my emergency fund as well because uh, you might never know the unforeseen circumstances might happen anytime and you might need that money uh, as soon as possible. So make sure that uh, you monitor your emergency fund. Number five, I'm going to be talking about monitoring my investments, uh, which is the last thing on my list. You know when you have managed your debt and you have saved enough money for emergencies the next best thing you can do for yourself is to invest your money judging from asset classes that i've decided to invest in i need to make sure that i do my research and i invest in things that i understand so that i can maximize my returns um, this is still a working progress because whenever you're investing, you need to do a lot of research. So for this last step, I really need to pull up my socks because investing is a lot and there's a lot of research that is involved. So yeah, I need to pull up my socks on the step. Uh, I try, but I know that I'm not doing enough. I'm going to end the video at number five because currently these are the risk assessments that I'm doing. Uh, so on my next video, I'm going to continue the list uh, of the risk assessments that I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm not doing yet. If you want to learn how to manage your finances and learn money skills, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the like button uh, to support this video and comment down below whether you do have 
a personal financial risk assessment if not uh, would you consider trying it uh, thank you for allowing me in your space and lending me your ear always remember that i love you have a lovely productive day bye